FIFA 19 is finally here, and if you want any cheap MSP or PSN for FIFA points or some cheap game codes, check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link down below in the top line of the description and use code HABER for 3% cash back. Yo, what's going on, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a brand new squad builder. Now, truthfully, I've been struggling on FIFA 19. As you guys can see by my record, I'm struggling massively. Uh, I just can't seem to get the grips of this game. I'm really struggling, but this team has been the only team so far that I'm yet to lose with, and I've genuinely enjoyed using this team a lot, so uh, I, I wanted to do a squad builder on it because it's the only team I seem to have success with. So I thought I'd make it. Now, it's it may just be that this formation's really good. It may be the sort of the, the differentiation I have in, in, in wingers and striker and cams and stuff like that, or it may just be that for some reason something's clicked and I'm playing better than I was, but I was struggling, and this team really helped me out. So, I thought I'd make a squad builder for you. And as the first squad builder on FIFA 19, I went with the Brazil squad. In goal, we have got Alisson. Bought him for 19,250 coins. He feels really, really good. Um, the only thing, the only gripe I've got with Alisson, and it's the same with most keepers in this game, is that keepers seem to make, like, silly touches, whether it be, like, with their hands, with their head, you know, with their feet or something. It just seems keepers seem to make really stupid, stupid touches. And I have no idea why, but um, I went with Alisson in goal. And he felt really strong with most of his saving. Now, over the right-back spot, we have got uh, Mariano from the Turkish League. There's not a whole lot of Brazilian right-backs that are good this year, but I went with Mariano because uh, I do enjoy this card, and I thought he was really good. He felt quite quick, good physical as well, which is a very good positive. Um, In-game, I think he has like 79 strength or something like that. Um, he only says minus 9 on all the stats because uh, haven't, I haven't got a link with him yet, but um, he feels really strong in-game, and I do enjoy using this card. At the right centre-back spot, we have got uh, Gabriel Paulista. Now, in terms of a price for this team, I'd probably put it... It's it's on the expensive spectrum. Maybe 150 plus K, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know exactly the price of this team. Uh, but on the right, we do have um, Gabriel Paulista. Good card. Really enjoyed the, using this card. This card's really solid. Uh, six foot two. Uh, pretty quick as well, but good. Very strong. Very good at heading the ball. Uh, very good at tackling. Down the left, we've got someone who's a little bit different. We've gone with uh, Marquinhos. Now, Marquinhos is a little bit shorter, a little bit less physical, but he's a lot better at sort of like passing the ball out. He's a lot better at dribbling the ball out as well, and he just feels like a little bit more technically, or a bit better technically, sorry, than uh, than Gabriel Paulista. And then on the left-back spot, we have got the untradeable part card that we packed, and it is Alexandro, who is incredible. One of my favourite left-backs, if not my favourite left-back last year, and again this year feels absolutely insane. Really, really good player, and I really enjoy using this card. Really solid stats, really quick, very, very strong, and very good at uh, dribbling and defending. Um, so yeah, that's the defence, and it's a pretty strong defence. Now, obviously, you guys can replace some players with other players there based on your personal preference, but I went with these guys, and I really did enjoy these guys. Now, over at the left CDM spot, sorry, the right CDM spot even, we have got Alan from uh, from Napoli. Now, Alan's had a pretty decent upgrade, in my opinion, from last year. He's got really good uh, dribbling, defending, and physical stats. Uh, he's got decent stamina, decent aggression, half-decent strength as well, but he's got really good technical stats as well, like agility, passing, um, dribbling, etc. He feels really good, and he's got four-star skill moves as well, which is really, really nice uh it's great to have on a uh, on a cdm great to have four star skills like you won't really think it but when you get into positions where you need skill moves it, it, it's really nice to have the skill moves on a cdm now over at the left cdm spot we have got fred from manchester united i think this guy's like 15k right now uh but he's got a high high work rates they're both pretty short it would maybe be beneficial to go with a a, a um a taller CDM possibly. However, I think that Fred is a solid CDM. He's got decent passing, shooting, dribbling. Uh, his defending is not fantastic. However, he makes up for it in a lot of different stats elsewhere. Uh, and I think that I really enjoy using this guy as a uh, as a left mid. Now, over in the cam spot, if we're going to go and find him really quickly, we've got someone that uh, that I haven't used before. Really, really, I didn't really use him last year, but it's Anderson Taliska. This guy is incredible. Really enjoy using this card. He's got an amazing long shot. Um, um, he's got fantastic shot power. He's got really good dribbling as well. Four-star skills is great. Uh, his left foot is just an absolute rocket, so he's fantastic to use. And I really enjoyed using him as a cam. He seems to win a lot of headers. He's pretty strong as well, so he just works really well. And with the uh, with the left mid, right mid, and striker, he just seems like a perfect cam. And over at the left mid spot, we have got Vinicius Jr. Now, I wanted to use Philippe Anderson, but I wanted a five-star skiller in there, so I went with Vinicius. Now, it's crazy to think that this guy is like... 18, 17 years old. No, 18 years old. 
That's that's crazy, dude. He plays for Real Madrid. Now, he didn't have the greatest start, but the thing is, he doesn't get a lot of goal and assists. However, he gets really good positions and gets some really good key passes off that just make him very much worth it. Now, uh, in terms of his attributes, my favorite attributes are definitely his agility and balance and his, his dribbling. His skills feel really, really good, and it's enjoyable to have him down the left the left mid spot, the left wing spot. It's just, it's just strong all in all. Um, however, you know... Felipe Anderson might be a better shout if you were, if you were to go with Felipe Anderson. Uh, if you just look at the cards, for example, um, they they do definitely. I'd say that Felipe Anderson is definitely a better option. However, you know Vinicius Junior is still a great card. So and I wanted the skill moves in there. And over at the right mid spot, we've got the guy that's in the title. The guy you guys have all been waiting for is the main man himself, Hulk. Now, I did manage to snipe this guy for 10,000 coins. He's currently extinct on the market, and he's got a fantastic card. I decided to put a Hunter card on him. Uh, I've increased his pace and his shooting, and he feels really strong in game. He doesn't get into the best positions to shoot. However, he makes some really good key passing and makes some good, uh, some good assists as well. He's got 92 in-game strength. He's got 94 shot power, 88 finishing plus the... Uh, when you plus the plus five, and he just feels really strong in game. I really do like Hulk. Great, great right mid, and I think that he's thoroughly enjoyable in this game. And then a striker, we have got the main man himself from like FIFA 13. One of my favorite strikers back then is Alexander Pato. He's back in the game, and he's actually a pretty decent striker. In four games, he got two goals and five assists. Uh, sorry, three assists even. Uh, he just feels really strong. He's always in the right positions. He's not strong in terms of strength, and it really does show. However, his, his shooting's decent. His finishing's really nice, and his agility feels good as well. He just feels like he's always in the right position at the right time. And that's the full team. Now, in in terms of price, I'd say it's anywhere from like 120 to 150k-ish maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it depends how much the sort of defense is. I don't know how much those guys are going for. But I know that um, Sandro's like 60. Um, Allison's like 20 and Hulk's 10. So that's 90k. And then we've got uh, we've got Fred who's like 10 to 15. Uh, I think the same for like Allen. And then it depends how much these guys are up top as well. So that's how much the team is roughly. Um, but I definitely make this team if you guys are struggling on FIFA 19. It really helped me out. Uh, I'm going to play some gameplay for you guys now. If you guys do enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you later. later. A bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. Spotted that well and intercepted. And now the shot. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. We'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. Well, I don't go that far from the holidays, and he scored from that distance. Looking good, this move. No chance. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. Thinking. Real chance. He's in the clear. Beautiful goal. They couldn't have placed it better if he tried. Well, that's a great goal. He showed a lot of composure, not to mention skill to. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to get the interception. And here's the shot. And it is. The opening goal of this match. Oh, the fans are loving that one. Kept on going. One or two of his teammates thinking that the half time before the ball went for him. They might have played him in here. Hit on the goalkeeper. It's opened up. Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they good value for this advantage at the moment. Fred, shredding it through, Oh, the cross goes towards the far post, and it's in, perfect header, oh, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do for sure, I know Alan does, what a good example this was, well I've always been an admirer of good headers, and this was certainly one of those, a thumping effort.